My name is Michelle Dion and I teach political science at McMaster University. I study comparative politics and I do comparative political economy and also some political behavior research. In the ICPSR summer program, I teach Regression 1. The emphasis in Regression 1 is um, on applied regression, from bivariate all the way up through multivariate regression. And because most of the students in my course haven't necessarily taken regression before, I try to emphasize a combination of both understanding the math behind the method, but also um, understanding intuitively how the method works by combining my lectures or using in my lectures a lot of visuals, a lot of pictures of the relationship so that students can understand spatially how linear regression works. And then in the assignments that I give students um, over the course of the semester, we build from very short, contained, focused assignments to more open-ended assignments with real data that help the students understand what types of challenges they're going to encounter once they get to real research projects on their own. I also tend to remind students that there tend to be two different ways to understand math. Some people understand math as a language and they are very comfortable reading regression equations and reading all the math equations as a language. But then there are other students who are maybe newer to math or it's been a long time since they've had a math course and those students often benefit from thinking about math as a set of spatial relationships and trying to get the intuition behind various different um, methods that we employ. So I do spend a lot of time in the course taking an equation and deconstructing it, taking apart all the different pieces of the equation to try to give the students some intuition of how the different equations fit together to help us understand the relationships between the variables that we're analyzing. Most of the students that take the course have already taken a basic statistics course which would cover things like levels of measurement, um, basic relationships between two variables, say chi-square test, correlations, things like that. Some students have also taken a course that goes all the way up through linear regression but in a very cursory manner. So this course is really mainly for students who want to understand how to apply linear regression in their research but don't have a really strong background in statistics, but want to learn how to get their hands dirty and really learn the method um, so that they can use it in their, in their studies or their research. I've had in my course students from undergrads who are maybe in economics or political science or sociology, or even business who are trying to reinforce skills that they might have already learned or get ready for graduate school. But then I've also had students who are full professors in health policy research who are tired of paying other people to analyze their data and they want to learn how to do it themselves. So I really do get a full range of students from different backgrounds with different preparation. And the disciplines also vary. So I get anything from political science, sociology, business, to public health education, just about the full range, I would think, of the social sciences.